Hey guys, it's Doug from Snakes Alive. So this is the next segment in the sequence that I've been recording for you. We took a random female in our collection you might recall here at Snakes Alive and we paired her up with an Enchi male and this is the result. We had six eggs and the eggs, I'll just check my records, were laid on the 14th of the 10th and it is now the 9th of the 12th they started hatching yesterday you can see one's already completely out of the egg when I checked in this morning uh, five out of the six had pipped and I see that they're all pretty much cut sticking their heads out so 55 days and the temperature that we incubated at was between 31 and a half and 32 and a half. So there you go. There's a lot of talk about whether you should cut or not. What I like to do is I wait for them to pip and I found that it is quite safe to cut the eggs once the first snake has pipped. Once the first snake is pipped, I usually leave it about a day or two and by then all of them should have pipped and uh, obviously in that case there's no need for you to cut. I suppose if after that an egg hasn't cut and you are confident in, in cutting then, uh, then go ahead and cut. I just make a, a small incision. What I do is once they have pipped, usually it's just their head sticking out, so I'll take a, a pair of um, nail scissors and just lengthen the already existing cuts, make them a bit longer. Uh, see this okay over here. Um, could possibly lengthen that just to give them a bit more space to be able to move around so once they've cut themselves what I try and do is because usually it's just their head that's sticking through so then I would go ahead with a pair of nail scissors uh, you could do it with a blade I guess I just want to make the incision a bit bigger to give them a bit more space to move around uh, and cut it in such a way that it makes like a flap. It's difficult trying to do this with camera in one hand, <laughs> a pair of scissors in the other, and I'm left handed. There you go, and then you could cut this away if you wanted. And um, so there you go. You can do that with the rest of them. See, there's one over here. Do with a bit of a snip. There's more than enough space for the the snake to then get out of, wriggle out of. I think these are these are okay. It's big enough space. This was the one this morning that hadn't hadn't cut along with the rest, so I just made an incision and uh, I'll leave it there. A day or so let's see let's see how it goes by then I'm sure the rest of these guys will be out the egg so there you go that's pretty much the last segment in the breeding of this female that we chose to to follow this breeding season thanks for watching